Hi, Steve Richards again, founder of Holographic Kinetics and Dreamtime Healing. Today, the message I want to get across today is for governments, people working in governments in health, psychiatrists, psychologists, mental health workers. Across the board, as for governments, what I'm here to tell you now is that we have the ability to save you millions. Millions upon millions, if you want to make a change. We look at the prison system. You've got repeat offenders. Repeat offenders that are stuck in time. They keep coming back and repeating over and over again because they're stuck in a dimension of time. The moment you deal with those that are stuck in time and you change time, they no longer have the need to want to defend, so I should say for wanting to reoffend. And therefore we make changes to those dimensions. You have got to have what we mentioned earlier about the old people in the old people's homes. And the people to be trained to understand to assist the old people to move on so they're not stuck in time. You got youth in your prison system with the youth. And the young people today, through the drugs, and the young people through the drugs and the forces that have taken over young people. If you go and have a look at all your shootings in the States and the amount of people that are on medication, what the medication do? It actually lowers your resistance and leaves you open to other dimensions. These beings take over, they want the soul of the vehicle, they want the vehicle. If you terminate yourself, then they've got the vehicle of the future. So how do we make changes to this? Well, we have the ability to, one, turn around the repeat offenders in the system. Two, we have the ability to clear the forces that cost millions of dollars every year for governments around the world to look after people under mental health that can be changed. We have the ability to re-educate people into ancient knowledge of what takes place when they violate these laws of law. We have the ability to educate people so as they just by the knowledge, would dare not violate law in what's taking place today because of what would entrap them in the future. We have the assistance to assist where we have heart transplants. When you take the heart out of another person, you have a spirit connected to the heart and you're going to change your personality. But sometimes you can have the old spirit in there as well as the new spirit and you can have conflict. When you go in organ transplants, you have soul memories in those cells of the organs that need to be reasoned with and changed so the spirit can accept the programs that aren't it. They do not belong to it. So therefore it goes into rejection because of this. You have a lot of people there with cancer and other illnesses that are created through trauma. You see end product. Energy can only be captured through stress. So first the invisible, which is the trauma of the thought and emotions. It now transmutes through to the visible and has an effect now in the visible world of reality as it creates a new dimension internally where the stress point of the body was. You know, we have quite a number of women who have come to us that had cervical cancer. We went in to get the trauma, changed the trauma in the cervix region, which was sexual abuse, there's just stress point down there. And we made changes to those dimensions, and within two weeks, the cancer had cleared itself. I'm not here to look at illness. I'm here to look at the cause and effect of why something was created. Everything created has its own cause to its creation. It has its cause to its effect. Now, you pay millions of dollars out there today for systems that are masking the effect. In other words, all they do is keep the effect going and it costs governments millions and millions and millions of dollars to keep supporting systems that are a failure. Isn't it time we started to look at systems that are working and systems that are not a failure and took advice from people that are getting results other than advice from people that are not getting results? We need to broaden our horizon. This is year 2013. Yeah, we talk about space travel. We talk about as a species evolving to a higher level. But how can we if we can still be in the dark ages? 
How good a way do you go with a lot of men out there that are in power? And a lot of men that are in positions of power that are making a lot of money out of illness. These men will be back in the future cycles of time. They'll be the end of the run. They will be the ones that will be in the future. They'll be the ones that will then own medication for the future. Because they can't escape the cycles of time. I warn you, let it be known as a politician. Let it be known in the position you hold as a government official. Let it be known in the position you work for in your position under mental health. Let it be known you have a responsibility under the laws of law. For by your actions and your inactions, if you violate these laws, there are consequences. Look, you can lie to me all you want. That's sort of my students. You know, a client comes to me, I couldn't care less what they've done, doesn't bother me in the slightest. They can lie and they can, excuse the expression, bullshit all you want. Makes no difference to me. But you can't lie to your spirit. And if you're thinking of hoodwinking your spirit and get away with things, you really are a fool because you have no idea how powerful this universe is and how it has balance. It has laws of law that cover every dimension. My thing is the sooner we learn, the sooner we start to work with this universe, the sooner we learn, the sooner we'll start to realise that everything in nature is alive. You know, you think you've got secrets in nature, I'll tell you now. We could crack so many crimes, why? Because in nature everything is alive. And when you understand how to bring the spirit of a tree through, or the spirit of an animal, there's things in nature. There are so many things they see that took place in nature that they have memories of. And they can express them out of a person on the table. There are no more secrets. There are areas we can access. And yet not one university, not one university has taken the time to want to put in research trying to see in these areas. That takes us to another level. Millions and millions and millions of dollars in research grants. Millions and millions into research in the universities. And yet, here we are. Not one cent of funding from any government. Not one cent of funding from any individual organisation. And yet, we've taken ancient knowledge to a whole new advanced level a whole new scientific level of understanding that if any university took this on it could be a leader in our world because it would lead the world into so many new areas that have never been touched before as I said before about space travel it doesn't matter where a person is and we, look, you can put me test any time you want you, know, you give me a person tens of thousands of miles away and we'll sorry get this prudent on the table. Find out what's going on. But of course, a lot of governments already know that because they already have their own trained people they're doing remote viewing with. But we go beyond that, far beyond that. And we make changes to so many areas to better our future. This is about to better the future of this world. You gotta understand the world is life. The earth's alive. It has its own spirit. If I started pumping your arms and pumping the oil out of your system and pumping the blood out of your system, and how would you, what would you do? Think about it, what would you do? You start to retaliate. Well, this earth is alive, it's a living entity. It doesn't mind sharing parts of itself with us, but we start to not acknowledge it and we start to destroy what is produced. It, like your own body, will go into a healing crisis. And when it goes into a healing crisis, it'll try and, let's say, it's a bit like the dog scraping the fleas off his back. It'll start to have an effect on the external world unless we start to align ourselves with it. We need to get back to nature. We need to look at the old ways. We need to look at the ancient ways to understand our future if we ever really want to have a future.